Good morning everyone. Today is a beautiful day in Melbourne. It's like going to be 27 degrees I think today. So I'm taking a risk and I'm wearing a skirt and uh, the shirt that I haven't worn in a really really long time. I used to wear it to work in Korea all the time. Like it was like my go-to for so many months but today i'm going into the city to explore all the places you could buy japanese and korean skincare i've been wanting to do this for a while and it just kind of popped in my head i was like hmm i wonder where in the city you can buy japanese and korean skincare so i thought that would be really interesting to go hunt down those places today and i'm going to do it with ken i haven't seen ken in a long long time i think the last time i saw him was the beach party which was almost like a month ago again now so yeah and you can probably tell my voice is a lot better i'm not really that sick anymore i do have a bit of a cough still and a bit of a stuffy nose but otherwise i'm doing a lot better so i think it's time that we head out into the city to enjoy this beautiful saturday so let's go I'm not like uh, just at events. I know, right? I feel like every time we've seen each other, it's been at events. Yeah, very I know, much this so. is the first time in a while we're actually hanging out. Oh, I miss I know, you. just I'm like so coffee excited. and then we're gonna go for lunch. We're going to Tetsujin. Tetsujin again, yeah. I know. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's do it. to Tetsujin level four in the Emporium. I feel like I've been here four times. This is gonna be the fifth time now. What's your favorite spot in Melbourne? I know, it's cause it's like, it's like not too packed I feel like. Like no. it's not like known about yet really. Which is good. Yeah, and we're gonna try to test out the barbecue side of it this time because we haven't had the barbecue yet. What? Oh yeah, this is a total, what are the this is a totally different side. I haven't been on this side before. Ah! Okay, so what do they have? I was hoping they would have a sukiyaki, like hot pot. Seafood. What? Chicken, vegetables. Oh, soup base. Oh, sukiyaki. They have it. Oh, shabu shabu, right in front of my face. Oh, okay, how much? Do your soup base, sukiyaki, obviously. Choose your premium meat. Oh, we can afford this, I think. Which meat should we choose? Beef is always the best, like yep. basic Wagyu beef. Our premium beef is cheaper, we could do that. Yeah, okay. And then choose your meat, seafood, vegetables. I don't want what? Oh, you choose your veggies as well. Not seafood, we'll just go beef. And then veg. Some lettuce and bok choy. Yeah, we can get like udon noodles in there, are always good. Gyoza in there is always good, and tofu. And then lettuce and bok choy. You don't want mushrooms, do you? No, I'm good. Okay, what else do they have? Oh, no, that's it. Okay, looks like we're doing that. All right, so to my happy surprise, they do have shabu shabu sukiyaki there, except it's not all you can eat style like in Japan or like the other place I wanted to go to. Momo something, it's closed until 5 p.m. So we're just gonna go here. And uh, get some sukiyaki. Yeah, it's food. It's a food. So I had the biggest craving for sukiyaki after the race day, but we ended up just going to that um, all-you-can-eat buffet. But I really wanted sukiyaki because it's like one of my all-time favorite dishes, especially when you've been like day drinking to just sit there and make your own like sukiyaki hot pot. So yeah, I'm so happy we can do that today. So I think we're, we know what we're gonna order, so we're gonna do that now. Yes. I love it because we didn't pay for mushrooms, but we got mushrooms anyway. That's good. I'm ready. Let's put the gyoza in. I love gyoza. Mm. 
Like on YouTube, people are obsessed with drama channels now and everything dramatic. Like if there's a video about drama or something going wrong, then like it's it automatically does really, really well. So we are thinking like we're gonna try to do a test today and see if this thumbnail does good. So we're gonna test you guys and see if you click to more dramatic looking things or not. So yeah. Pretty funny. We, we like that idea. It sounds yeah. fun. <laughs> if you guys clicked on it because of the because of that thumbnail, you guys are so into drama. Yeah. If you click, so if you normally don't click, but you click because of that thumbnail, you like that drama. All right, you guys. So we finished at Tetsujin, and now we're gonna go check out some of the Japanese and Korean stores that sell oh like God. skincare snacks, everything like that. And we're in front of one right now that's right on like the main. I don't even know what the street's called. This one is. I think this is. Swanson? Swanson Street, yeah. So it is, oh, what's it even say? I should have worn my contacts. So, so good. So good. <laughs> that's what I was oh, That's laughing. the first one we're going to. <laughs> so good, and it better be so good. So let's go in and check it out. How bad do you mean? Like, you can still see fairly okay. I can see, but like, it's questionable, you know? Okay. Oh, they have everything. Oh my god. This stuff's actually really good. I've tried it before. The Etude House uh, baking powder soap, really good. Whoa. They even have Etude House eyeshadows. I wonder if they have my favorite one. It's kind of random, it looks like, but. Still, that's amazing. And they have the Vise lip glosses, lipsticks too. I actually really like Vise. They make like the best makeup. <gasps> and they have my favorite foundation. They have so many face masks. I know where I'm coming if I need to like quickly stock up on face masks here. But it's still wet. Yeah, they last, but like it always, this always flaked on me. <laughs> Look, you guys, you can even get the Sailor Moon eyeliners here. Oh, now they're gonna run out of stock. <laughs> yeah, they literally have all my favorite stuff like this is the current um, eyeliner I use and I love it the DUP one So you can get it here and the Motte mascara. I have this and use it so good These are one of my favorite. I want to try it. Look you guys they even have all the Japanese eye drops I got these for Kyle when I was in Japan and he was obsessed And then I use the Lassie ones whenever I wear contact lenses and go out during the day Really good for like making your eyes feel okay if you're wearing them for eight hours they have like everything. It's basically like a Japanese drugstore in here. It's amazing. Oh my god, you guys, they even have the cushion puff refill and it's only $3.80. That's like literally like half a dollar more than in Korea. I need these. Like this is so good to know. I'm actually shook right now. I'm shook. <gasps> even eyebrow trimmers. Oh my gosh. And it's Tude House brushes. Poor brushes, <gasps> cognac sponge, so good. I'm shook, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally like, I should like live here because my life's complete. Like, look at all the hair dye. Look at all of it. All the Japanese hair dye. It's even a better selection than in Japan. Remember when I was looking for hair dye in Japan? I had a hard time. See, the thing is, I don't want a foam one. I just want a regular cream. They got it. They got it all. Oh God, good old Gatsby. That's what I used to use. You used to use Gatsby? Well, now you know where to come to get it again. Oh nice. No, I'm not doing it again. This is terrible. <laughs> oh no. And they even have these amazing, like, relaxation heated eye packs. These are, like, amazing. I love them. They're so extra, but so relaxing. They even have the, like, um, circulation socks that are really good. These ones. So we were just in so good and it literally was so good, so good. So highly recommend, not too overpriced, 
well worth it like comparison to real prices in Japan and Korea you pay like what a dollar or two more depending on the item so so good so now we're gonna check out Vivi's beauty shop let go Vivi's beauty shop so this is on Swanson Street as well on the first floor in one of the side buildings so let's go in and take a peek. Oh, and you can connect right to Priceline through there. Oh, the Burke Street and Priceline. I see, so it's really close. Oh. Oh wow, so they have this whole cabinet of skincare. Japanese skincare. Hair products. So we just finished in the VV place and they told us no filming, they had no camera signs everywhere. All the products were locked in glass cases without any prices on them. So to me, that kind of makes me think reselling, like buying and then reselling, which you're not really supposed to do. So I kind of had a bad vibe, but I loved the selection. They literally had all my favorite stuff. They had a ton of Innisfree, Holika Holika, Tude House, like all the Japanese brands that I love, Excel, everything, Sailor Moon stuff. But yeah, unfortunately, no filming and no prices anywhere. And they're very like, follow you around. Yeah, they watch like a halt, which is... Yeah, like kind of made me feel like like I shouldn't be there. Yeah. Like they're expecting us to steal something. Yeah. And then they didn't want you touching any of the product either. So yeah, it was like kind of like... The mask, like that's just weird. Like, it was a bit un uncomfortable and weird. So I probably wouldn't go back there unless I really, really needed something for an emergency sake. But, like um, your Excel eyebrow. <laughs> like my Excel eyebrow. But I'm sure there's other places that are a little more, you know, friendly and open to you know, customers shopping and stuff. So we're gonna keep hunting for the best places to buy Japanese and Korean skincare in Melbourne. So let's go. So we're up Burke Street and we saw Merry Seasons, but it's across from where we are. So we'll come back to it. And here we are at Hello Day from Japan. So this is another pharmacy, drugstore, healthcare. Let's go in, hopefully they let us film. Yeah. Uh, doubtful. No, it's here. Uh, never mind. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. No cameras, you guys, but we're gonna check it out and let you know how it is. All right, so we just finished at Hello Day and I like this one better than the last one. They actually had their prices available to see and you could actually touch the product and they weren't following you around really uncomfortably. The section was like really limited. They didn't have as much as at the other, the first place that we went to, but definitely like more on the affordable side, but not super affordable. So a little bit more expensive than the first place that we went to which was so good. This one was maybe like, I feel an extra $5 more in comparison on average. And then there was a lot of other stuff that was really overpriced. But otherwise, like if you're just in to quickly find something, maybe it's worth a shot. So we are headed toward Merry Seasons now. Looks like they got two entrances. Oh, this one looks good, you guys. This one looks legit. I'm excited, I'm ready. Oh, this place says no cameras as well. So it looks like we won't be able to show you guys inside, but here's a quick outside look. I feel like this place is going to have a lot of Korean skincare. That's the vibe I'm getting. So let's go in and take a look. But yeah, unfortunately we can't bring you guys with us in here. Alright, so we just finished in Merry Seasons and that definitely was number two on my hit list. They had like so many Korean cosmetics, but I felt like they had more like the unique stuff. So they had Espoir, they had um, Pony Effects. What else did they have? Luna. They had a bunch of the like road shop brands that are like not as popular as say Etude House and other stuff like that. And they didn't have too much for cosmetics. It was mostly skincare and foundation. And then they had snacks and all that stuff and hair dye, a lot of face masks. They had an Innisfree skincare, but only a small selection. So I feel like if you're looking for specific things with an affordable price with a pleasant shopping experience, I definitely recommend this one. Mostly for Korean cosmetics, not so much on the Japanese side. And then for Japanese still, so good is winning first place right now. So we're gonna try to find some other ones for you guys and hopefully another one will be able to let us film inside. But yeah, let's keep exploring. 
All right, you guys, so the next stop is literally right up from Mary Seasons. It's called Yuki House. Apparently, it's a nail salon. Um, so we're gonna see what kind of stuff they have in there because they did also recommend it for skincare and cosmetics But I have this strong feeling no cameras allowed something. I'm just getting that vibe Just getting that vibe. So we're gonna go in and see what kind of stuff they have and let you know how it goes so Let's check it out skincare and cosmetics <gasps> Oh my gosh they have Little Moon, oh no. I'm happy to see this because I've been missing out on having brown contacts in a long time. All right, so we're done in Yuki House. They didn't have any signs saying you couldn't film, but something just told me, something told me no. They're no. kind of kind of following us around, asking us if we needed help, but um, I just had a feeling no. Like, more like, do you need help? Yeah, like they were filming <laughs> earlier, like are you gonna steal something? So, I don't know, but otherwise the selection there was okay personally for me i wouldn't shop there no. unless i wanted to get one core core pack it's the only place so far that i've seen a certain core strip the one that has the baby face on it that's the only way i can explain it's japanese and it has a big baby face on it and shows a close-up of the pore package i'll try to insert a photo here if i can find one but um that's the only place i've seen it but otherwise it was a lot of repeat products and then once again they didn't show any prices on anything so that kind of makes me skeptical that things are a little bit more on the overpriced side but if you are in this area what what is this building this, oh, this would be like in chinatown now yeah this is like the chinatown you know where the building the big complex where daiso is by the university kind of in there um yeah, if you're in the area and need to quickly grab something, then sure. But otherwise, I think still, once again, so good is taking first place. And then um, Mary Seasons, Mary Seasons is, is really good. second. Really good. Yeah, for Korean cosmetics, really good. So, yeah. So, I think we're going to go get a coffee now, take a break, and see if there's any other places nearby. So, let's go. And I'm not too sure if this is also Yuki House, but there's this booth right outside of it with more skincare, so they have like Innisfree, but the selection's quite limited, and more Japanese face masks. All right, so I think there's one more place we're gonna check out. It's called M Plaza, and then there's the face shop as well, which is in Melbourne Central, I think. But um, yeah, which, which direction are we going? QV, it's in QV. Oh, so bright. Oh. So Ken's taking us here. I've never been. Gloria. Jeans, coffee. Okay, let's go. Hopefully, it's not too hot. Mm. Mostly foam. All right, you guys. So we're gonna go into M Plaza right now. This one was also recommended to us. Once again, not too sure if we'll be able to film here. If not, we'll update you when we come out of it. But right off the bat, I'm feeling Korea vibes more so than Japanese. Even the aesthetic of the building's looking really like Korean road shop style for skincare and a lot of sheet masks. A lot of sheet masks, so let's go check it out. And this is on Swanson Street, so same as the majority of them. It's just up the main road in the CBD. Yeah, they're playing Korean music too. I kind of wanted something like close so I don't have to pay money for like commuting. True. And this is my outfit today. So I'm just wearing this skirt that I got in Korea like three years ago, I feel like, when I lived there. My usual shoes. I was going to wear different shoes today, but my feet hurt from the races. And the shirt that I used to wear in Korea all the time that I told you guys about earlier. Yeah, I feel super like K-style today, but I'm digging it. So they have like legit Etude House stuff. They have prices everywhere. And they even have like a whole Innisfree section. Amazing. <gasps> they have all the Play 101 pencils too. I love it. So this place is really good. I think this is coming in at number two for me personally. So I would say So Good is number one. This place 
dump. What is it? M Plaza is number two because it's like literally walking into like all the Korean road shop brands. They have literally everything Korean cosmetics. And number three would be Mary Seasons, just because I felt like the stock was a little bit limited with Korean skincare in comparison to M Plaza. So I don't know. I think I know what my favorite places are. Ken, what do you think? This one's good. No, this one's good, right? And they let you film, and they're not hiding any prices, so nothing sketchy here. So we're happy. Still number one, I think. We're happy. <laughs> they even have the Etude House Double Lasting Foundation, which is one of my top like affordable foundations. Unfortunately here it's $41 Australian which is I feel like at least $10 from original Korean standard price. I feel like in Korea I paid 20 something or 30 but yeah it's a little bit overpriced but I mean for convenience wise I mean there you have it. And looks like downstairs is all hair care and stuff. So we got a lot of Korean hair dyes, shampoos, treatments, all that stuff. Wow. All right, you guys, so we just finished checking out M Plaza and definitely, like I said, probably top two for me, like amazing, great, a lot of Korean stuff. And you can tell they were official. They had prices everywhere. They had official like setup and we both really enjoyed it. The staff was super friendly as well. So I think we know what our favorite ones are for the day and I think I'm also going to head home and so is Ken. So we will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. It was so much fun. See you when I get home. I've got mail. So it looks like BYS sent me their new fantasy palette, which looks like it literally is all just matte uh, pastel in some fluorescent shades. That's cool to have. That's nice. And then a new super slim mascara. Cool. So I am back home now. I had an awesome day out with Ken. It was absolutely what I needed. The sukiyaki was totally what I was craving. I had this huge craving for sukiyaki because the last time I had it was I think the final week I was in Japan when I went to All You Can Eat Sukiyaki with Emily and we had some uh, sake to drink as well and oh my god it was an amazing time. I miss that. I miss that. I think the place we went to is called Momo Paradise in Ikebukuro. Like it was big like sucking. It did. This is the worst lighting. Like, why they do this my too. skin and everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So it's been a long time since I've had sukiyaki. It's been about half a year. So I was having mad cravings and there actually was a different place in Melbourne I wanted to go to, but they didn't open up until 5.30 p.m., which didn't work with our schedule. So instead we went to Tetsujin, hoping that they would have sukiyaki and thankfully they did. And then for the top places to go shopping in Melbourne for Japanese and Korean skincare and cosmetics, I think definitely, like I said, my order is so good as number one because they had a lot of variety and a lot of collection, friendly staff, and really reasonable prices that I would even consider purchasing stuff from there which I probably will when I actually need to like stock up on stuff. Then second place is the last location we went to called M Plaza, but mostly just for Korean skincare because they didn't really seem to have any Japanese products there. So M Plaza definitely is more if you're just going for strictly Korean cosmetics. That's definitely a good one to check out. Once again, the variety is slim because it's kind of like a collection of multiple brands and not really a distinct brand store, but otherwise the prices were pretty fair for a lot of the items that they had there. And then in third place, I would say, what was it? Mary Seasons was also really good for both Japanese and Korean skincare and cosmetics. They had a lot of unique brands that I personally love like Espoir, Luna, Luna Soul, and they even had Pony Effect. And they also once again showed prices and weren't sketchy about anything and friendly staff as well. So yeah, those are my top three places in Melbourne that I would go to to find Japanese and Korean skincare. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I really wanted to film it for you guys as it's something that seriously 
interest me and I am really really passionate about so I hope you guys enjoyed it remember to thumbs up this video if you did comment down below on what your favorite location in Melbourne is to buy Japanese and Korean skincare or what your favorite online website is let me know in the comment section down below and of course check out Ken's YouTube channel I'll have him linked in the description box below as well so you guys can check him out he does week in my life videos and beauty videos as well which are really fun to watch and uh yeah remember to subscribe to see more of my daily vlogs as i live in melbourne australia i love you guys so much and i will see you next time bye